Hello and welcome to another complete OCR GCSE PE lesson. This video is on chapter one, the structure and function of the skeletal system, specifically the third learning objective, which requires you to know the definition of a synovial joint, plus a little bit of information on hinge joints and ball and socket joints. So a synovial joint is a freely movable joint, as opposed to a cartilaginous joint, which allows a little bit of movement, like the joints between the vertebrae of the spine, and fixed joints, which are completely immovable. They don't provide any movement at all, like the joints between the flat bones of the cranium. Now, you don't actually need to know the definitions of cartilaginous or fixed joints, but I've included them here just to provide a little bit of context. So a synovial joint is a freely movable joint. So we're talking about the knee, elbow, hip, shoulder, ankle, wrist, and the joints between the fingers and toes. Now, there are two types of synovial joint that you need to know about, the first of which is hinge joints. So hinge joints allow movement in one plane only. So we're talking about flexion and extension. And don't worry, we'll look at the types of movement in our next lesson. The two hinge joints that you need to know are the knee and elbow, and specifically you need to know the articulating bones or the bones that join to make up each joint. So the articulating bones at the knee are the femur and the tibia, and at the elbow the humerus, radius and ulna. Click the banner if you need a recap of the names and locations of all the major bones. By the way, if you like the slides I use in my videos, you'll find a link to my resource store in the description. Now the other type of synovial or freely movable joint that you need to know about is ball and socket joints and these allow a wide range of movement in multiple planes so flexion extension abduction adduction rotation and circumduction and again we'll be covering these types of movement in our next lesson the two ball and socket joints in the body are the shoulder and the articulating bones there are the humerus and the scapula or shoulder blade and the hip the articulating bones at the hip are the femur and the pelvis. This image quite clearly depicts the structure of a ball and socket joint. We've got the ball, which is the head of the femur, and that fits into the socket of the pelvis. Now that's literally everything you need to know on the types of synovial joint. But before we finish, we'll look at one past exam question, which demonstrates the need for you to know the articulating bones at the elbow, knee, hip, and shoulder. So which of the following correctly names the articulating bones in the elbow joint? This one, of course, is the humerus, radius, and ulna. So that was everything you need to know on the types of synovial joint. I'll be covering the whole course in this way, so subscribe if you haven't already. Join me next time for the types of movement at hinge joints and ball and socket joints.